Rise and shine, sleepyheads. Today, I'm going to bring you along as I get ready and take you through my skincare, hair, and makeup. First things first, I gotta make my breakfast. I'm having two hard-boiled eggs, some vanilla yogurt, and of course, a huge cup of coffee. After breakfast, I hop in the shower. I'm currently using the S Factor Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner, which I have repurchased over and over because it smells so delicious. And I'm using my favorite body wash, Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction, and my Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish for my face. This stuff is seriously so good. After my shower, I brush my teeth and I apply my Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic on a cotton pad. This is a really soothing toner that makes my skin feel amazing and I follow that up with the Liz Earl Eye Bright which helps wake up tired eyes. I'm gently patting on my Lyrac Eye Cream and for my face I went for an old favorite, the Pavonia Meoxy Caviar Cream which is seriously heavenly. After a shower, I like to layer my fragrances, so I'm using some Pure Seduction Body Lotion and then some Wild and Pink Body Mist. Then I take my hair down and I get to work on taming this mess. I'm using my It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin and then brushing it out with my Tangle Teaser. And then I'm applying some of my favorite hair oil to the ends of my hair. This stuff smells so good, it's kind of vanilla-y. I was planning on curling my hair today, so I just gave my hair a rough dry, not sectioning it off or anything, but you'll see later in the video that I changed my mind after my makeup was done and I decided to straighten it instead. Okay, on to makeup. I'm starting off with my favorite foundation ever, Laura Mercier Silk Cream, and I'm applying this with my MAC 190 brush. I'm pressing this into my skin in light layers and building it up to get the coverage I want, which is full. Let's be real. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion to help my colors last all day without creasing, and I'm applying this with my MAC 239 brush. For my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil, and I'm basically just using really light and short strokes to imitate actual brush hairs. And I'm also going to extend my eyebrow out a little bit because mine are a little short. A good rule of thumb for knowing how far your brow should extend out is if you put your pencil from the corner of your nose up to the corner of your eye, and where the pencil hits your brow is where your brow should end. All of my eyeshadows today are going to come from this beautiful BH Cosmetics Day to Night palette, which has 60 colors in a nice range. I'm starting with this nude color, and using my MAC 239 brush, I'm going to place this on my lid up to the crease. For my crease, I'm combining two of these purple tones on my MAC 217 brush, and I'm working it across my entire crease in back and forth motions, blending it out until the colors fade together without a harsh line. Using the same brush, I'm adding in some of this darker metallic wine color to the outer corner, placing the color in the corner and then pulling it in with my brush across the outer half of the crease, and then just blending away until it blends with the other colors. I don't want any harshness here. I want all of the colors to look like they fade into one another. Then I'm adding this dark brown color on my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm smudging it in along my top lash line and the outer half of my bottom lash line. And this creates a really cool effect and kind of opens up your eyes a little bit. For liner, I'm just using my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which is my obsession right now. And I'm just creating a really simple winged out cat liner by just extending the line a little bit past my eye. I'm popping on some Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara to my top lashes and then adding in some Ardell Accent Half Lashes. These are in the 301 number. I actually prefer 305, but I ran out. And I really like half lashes because they are so much easier to apply than regular full-size lashes, so these are nice. I'm adding some of my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer underneath my eyes and on any areas that I feel need extra coverage, and I'm just applying this with my finger and blending it out. A light dusting of my MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Powder with my MAC 134 brush will even everything out and keep away shine. And then I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Tin Color Professional Blush Palette. Taking this deeper bronzer color on an angled brush, I'm going to apply it into the hollow of my cheeks, defining it a little bit and sculpting it. And then I'm going to pop a bit of this pretty plum color onto the apples of my cheeks to brighten them up a little bit. 
Last but not least, my YSL Rouge Volupt in number two is the perfect pinky nude to balance out this heavy cat eye. And we're done with makeup. Moving on to hair, I decided around this point that I liked it straight with the makeup, so I'm going to take down this little poof that I created just to keep it out of my face while I was doing my makeup, add some heat protectant spray in, and run my GHD quickly through it. I'm not doing this in any special way, I'm just quickly defrizzing and smoothing the best I can, trying to get out these little crimps that happen near my scalp because my hair naturally has some wave. I'm going to recreate that original poof that I had, although to be honest, I don't like the second one as much as I liked the first one I had, but I'm just taking a small front section of hair, twisting it, and putting in a couple of bobby pins facing down towards my face to hold it into place. The dress I picked for today reminds me of October, which is my second favorite month ever and is coming up really soon. It's from Sandro and I got it at Nordstrom and it has these little weirdo symbols all over it like a cat and an eyeball and a sun with a squiggly face. I think it's fun and casual and a little bit outside of my comfort zone, so I'm rocking it. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today, and if you would like to watch my last Get Ready With Me video, you can click the screen right here and watch it, and I will see you guys later.